Dollstown, Pennsylvania, July 9, 2016. The Packards, David and Sarah, were well known in their area. They were a couple that fostered over 30 children. Some people didn't think that they were doing it for love, especially not Sarah. They thought it was more about the money she collected on each child. She was motivated by greed, some would say. Sarah Packer was also a child youth counselor. She held a degree in child psychology as well. Her and her husband David would adopt three-year-old Grace and her biological little brother in 2007. In 2010, David Packer was arrested. He was charged with molesting several of his foster children. One girl in particular who had two failed suicide attempts underneath the care of the Packards thought that Sarah had to know. She had the room right across from theirs. He would tie her up to the bed and he would repeatedly rape her daily. He even forced her to lose an enormous amount of weight so that she could be dressed in scantily clad outfits that he demanded her to wear. The authorities would confiscate David's cell phone. He had numerous videos of him raping and molesting other foster children. He even admitted to molesting one of his younger victims, Grace, the one him and his wife adopted. Sarah Packer would lose her license to foster children. David and Sarah would separate in 2016, ultimately followed by a divorce. I can't even say after the separation things worsened for Grace, but it did become fatal for Grace. She would hear her mother say, quote, I can't help you anymore now, unquote. It seemed like Sarah Packer had absolutely no conscience at all when it came to Grace. It's like she enjoyed the misery, harm, and pain she was inflicting on her. Is this what it came down to? $6,179? in adoption stipend checks that Sarah Packer would continue to cash even after the murder of her own daughter. Packer was the only mother that Grace and Joshua had ever really known. Other foster children and people who were in and out of the time they noticed how Sarah Packard would yell at Grace, how she would physically, emotionally, and mentally abuse Grace. She would send her to her room or down to the basement alone. Grace had a learning disability. Would this give Sarah Packard the reason to treat her badly? Just saying she just wanted Grace to, quote, be normal, unquote. But the Packers, both David and Sarah, they would dote on Grace's younger brother, but everybody knew how they treated the siblings were very different. Sarah would isolate and abandon Grace every chance she got. People who knew this family said she had developed a disdain for Grace. Packer and Grace became almost non-existent towards each other. Packer said Grace was a non-entity 
and she just wanted her gone. Packer and her new boyfriend, 46-year-old Jacob Sullivan, he would start to fantasize about all the morbid things that he could possibly do to Grace. Packer said Sullivan had a rape fantasy that he wanted to carry out. Packer said she did it because she didn't want to lose him. In July, the couple drove Grace from a home they rented in Abington to another home they rented near Quakertown. Sullivan would take some Viagra and he would punch Grace in the face as hard as he could and he started to beat her in front of Sarah. All her mother said was, quote, this is your life now, unquote. Those would be the last words that Grace would hear from her mother. Sarah Packer would drug Grace by sedating her. They would bound her arms, her wrists, and her ankles with zip ties. Sullivan would brutally rape Grace. While Packer would watch and get all the pleasure from seeing her daughter cry out and beg her mother to make him stop. The couple would gag her and put her in a cedar closet, hoping that she would just die. Packer and Sullivan panicked the next day when they saw that Grace was still alive. Sullivan would put his hands around Grace's neck while Packer looked on and he would strangle the life out of her. They stored her deceased body in pounds of kitty litter. Grace remained dead in the attic from July to October. They then cut her remains up with a bow saw and disposed her parts around the woods of Lazarney County. On Halloween, October 31st, hunters would find Grace's remains. On December 30th, Kathleen Albright, a woman who says she was in a polyamorous relationship with Sullivan and Packard, she would come to find that Sullivan and Packard were involved in a suicide pact. She would call the ambulance. They were both taken to the hospital. Sullivan then would tell hospital staff the role that him and Sarah Packer played in Grace's death. The couple was arrested January 8th. Jacob Sullivan was sentenced to death on March 2019, but some would say, unfortunately, he died of cardiac aneurysm before he could be put to death by his sentence. Sarah Packer was also supposed to be put to death, but instead she received a sentence of a hundred and four years, so she will never get out of prison. All 14-year-old Grace Packer wanted was parents who loved her, treated her right, and took care of her. Instead, she was put with people who preyed on her at three years old and she would die at the hands of a woman who was supposed to love her. Rest in peace, Grace.